What it also means is if there's no demand in this area and price starts to move back in there, why would people all of a sudden have a desire for it? I mean, do you see a mass uh, uh, hysteria for people to buy things like uh, water supplies or you know massive generators like they did in the year 2000? Do you see on the news that, that women are fighting over the, you know, the last beanie baby? No, you don't. Because there's no demand. So if there's no demand, you're likely going to have a resistance point. It happens on anything that you can put a price on. You'll see it. So what that tells me is if, if price pushes down below resistance and then comes back above, in other words, I get a spike, that's important information to me. Why? Because demand might be coming back into the market. So what's the whole goal here? Uh, enough of the theory and enough of the concepts. Well, the goal is obviously to make money. So we can't just look at uh, you know a few bars here. We're going to have to look at a little bit more. So let's let's take a look at what happened here, and let's sort of tie this in together. And remember, I, I'm very big on planning. I'm very big on having a set objective in the marketplace and not just letting things go and letting things happen. So here's the last retracement. Now look what happened to price. Price came down exactly to the weekly 382 retracement. So, now, let me back up a little bit. If we were looking at the market, remember, if, if this were Friday and we were talking about some possible uh, areas for reversal next week, what I would be pointing out would be, hey, this 382 level, this 94.63 price, if the market can't break through there, we're probably looking at an aggressive trend run up because trending markets only retrace about 38%. And that's when you get an aggressive trend move up. Now, it's normal for the market to come into a 50% retracement or even a, a 618 retracement and still move up. So that's still, it doesn't mean that the trend is over. The only time that I start getting uh, uh, into the bearish mindset of price breaks through 78%. Because think about it. If there was demand all the way from here to here, and price gets down into the lower end of the range, let's just think about this logically. Okay, forget about trying to make Fibonacci into this mystical experience. It's not. It's just pure logic. The market, if it gets down into this area here, doesn't it make sense that if people bought in this area once, that they're either likely to buy again or that the mentality, the reasoning, the fundamental information, the technical information that caused people to buy isn't it going to be the same information? I mean, look, I mean, this, has, this has not years gone by. This is three weeks. Unless the fundamental picture is massively changed, price is not going to just snap right through here on a weekly chart especially. So the thinking, remember... What we are looking at as traders, in terms of price, is the result of individuals' thinking, their opinions. Their opinion down here was that the pound was not worth less than 88.36. It was worth more than that. And this is a huge move. Remember, trading is a thinking man's game. Don't just sit back and, and turn your brain off. You've got to think about this stuff. So if, if traders were, were buying the pounds down in this 90.53 level to 88.36, if price gets down there again, it's probably going to reverse. And if it doesn't, what that tells me is there's been a shift in the underlying thinking of traders. So, practical application. So we're coming into the next week, 94.63. That's going to be a level I want to look at. Well, now let's uh, you know find this on the chart here. 